First of all, I welcome all the viewers of this program of KK Henry State Open University. Today, we'll, uh, we'll discuss about social responsibility of business. And for the discussion, we have with us Professor Rotikanta Kathak, Associate Professor, Department of Management, Kohati Commerce College. Sir, Namaskar. Namaskar. Sir, before we discuss about social responsibility of business, uh, let us have a very brief idea about uh, business and its objectives. Okay, and before that, we should have a clear idea regarding business and business activities and business objectives. First of all, we should remember that business basically consists of two things, industry and commerce. And commerce include buying and selling and other activities and industry where production takes place. So production and distribution, this together called business. Our business is basically an economic activity. And business is an economic institution. The basic objective of business is earning of profit. That is why it is called economic activities. But business exists in society. So from that point of view, business has also some social obligation or so social objectives. We shall come to discussion later on. But first of all, we should remember that business is an economic activity carried on by people with the aim of earning money or income. That is the clear concept of business. Okay. Sir, uh, is it possible for a business to survive only with the objective of earning profit? You see, business is basically, you know, business have two objectives. Uh, one is economic and other is non-economic. Economic activity includes mostly uh, profit, earning of profits or increase in market share or production. This comes under economic activity. And other non-economic objectives of business include social objectives, or human objectives or some national objectives these objectives come under non-economic objectives so though basic objective of business is to earn money or income and for survival and growth of business the earning of money or income is most essential but only with that objective a business cannot survive in the long run as I told you that business is a social institution, it exists in society, it does not exist in vacuum. So it, it is a part and parcel of the society. So being a part of the society, uh, so yes. it has some social, social, objectives, objectives, social objectives or social responsibilities, responsibilities, social obligations. So simply earning money, it may be a short term objectives, but the long term objective of business is to survive and grow. And survival and growth of business for the for a long period is not possible only through earning of money. It must discharge certain responsibilities to various interest group of the society. So without discharging social responsibility, a business cannot survive in the long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, sir, uh, what basically the concept of social responsibility, sir? What is the meaning of social responsibility? Yes, yes, it is a must talk about topic, social responsibility. The, uh, Adolf Varle, one famous management author, he defined that business as social responsibility and social responsibility is nothing but the manager's responsiveness to social consensus. The society has some expectations from business. Being a part of the society. Society expects something from business. And how you are responding to the expectation of the society. So in addition to earning money, business has to keep in mind, keep in target the objectives of the, so or responses or expectations of the society. So serving the interest of the society or obligation to do something for the betterment of society in addition to earning money is social responsibility, we can say. So, 
in nutshell social the meaning of the social responsibility yeah, yeah. and sir how the business houses how the corporate houses can discharge or discharge the social responsibility so you see social responsibility when we talk about social responsibility of business or it is also known as social responsibility of management and management of the corporate houses or companies are entrusted to uh, some board of directors and managers and they are basically responsible for discharging social responsibilities so corporate houses discharge responsibilities to the society in various ways they have different interest groups in addition to say their employees they have customers they have shareholders they have the society in general they have government they have responsibility to uh, for protection of environment of the country and they, they have to give due honor to various legislative provisions enacted by the government these things come under social responsibility so corporate houses basically when we talk about social responsibility of business the question arises how far does our companies our corporate houses are discharging these responsibilities generally we are less concerned about proprietary business or partnership business or cooperative business when we talk about social responsibility automatically the picture of a company comes into mind and the companies or corporate houses are discharging responsibilities in various ways i am telling you that for responsibilities discharge they can go for some voluntarily discharge or statutory discharge we shall come i think to that part of discussion later on but basically we mean that that social responsibility of business especially with the growth of business in our country as well as globalization of business this question of social responsibility has become very significant because business are running business are changing profit but at the same time business can never ignore interest of the society so social debt that is why many corporate houses are undertaking many social projects for welfare for benefit for upliftment of social interest sir can you give some example sir uh, concrete examples of such social response uh, discharge discharge of social responsibility uh, yeah yeah you see in india um, for example escort group of companies they have started um, heart institution for operation of heart heart disease for cure of heart disease in india say so, so you see bila group of industry bits they have inst- started technological institution tata group of industry they have started many projects for promotion of uh, culture literature for promotion of say um, sports activities in 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 india uh, like that they have uh, even even uh, like our glaxo company yes. they have uh, gone for uh, they have undertaken certain projects for plantation of medicinal plants yes. so that they can be utilize uh, for production of medici- medicine medicines so the, these are some of the examples many business houses both national and in multinational companies have undertaken certain projects for their benefits as well as for the benefits of the society so sir uh, discharging of social responsibility it has very much importance to the business mm-hmm. for the survival of the business yeah. as well as for the upliftment of the society mm-hmm. so without so discharging social responsibility a business can not survive now sir if we come to the sir uh, context of indian sin- scenario sir what is the uh, scenario that w- we seen in india uh, or particularly the indian companies domestic companies now already i have mentioned about uh, our tata, tata and bila yes. tata bila and even reliance groups uh um, dalmia group um, even davor uh, these companies have undertaken certain projects and they are not ignoring these aspects is that, it up to the mark sir are they discharging that, that is questionable whether it is up to the mark or not because to what sir, extent uh, yes, yes let me uh, clarify uh, 
it is uh, whether up to the expectation of the society. Society has many expectations from business and all expectations cannot be fulfilled by discharging social responsibility because basically business cannot do so discharge social responsibilities by ignoring their profit aspect. Yes. First of all, they will try to survive, they will try to grow, and they will try to expand, they will try to diversify business activities. And then only after meeting their own needs, they will go to meet the needs of the society. society. And but again, I am telling you that it is a part and parcel of the society that eating is not the sole uh, aim of living. Similarly, earning profit is not the only aim okay. of business. So definitely, uh, definitely, uh, it is not up to expectations. Many technical institutions, hospitals, uh, and other sports, stadium, construction of stadiums, these things have been undertaken by many business houses, big business houses in India, we have seen. But they have, they have concentrated, I think, mostly in the big towns and cities. Still in India, the urban rural areas particularly are not getting the benefits of the social responsibilities discharged by our business, business houses. houses. Well, so, if uh, what we see, sir, uh, for example, the refinery. Yeah. So while a refinery is uh, work or when a refinery is established, the society incur a very huge cost because the entire uh, area is polluted. The mm -hmm. Uh, uh, all the living beings are uh, suffers from the emotions or uh, the hazards discharged by the uh, refineries. Yeah, Likewise, yeah. we can see that uh, the uh, Gutka companies that mm -hmm. which are growing in Assam particularly, mm -hmm. they create a very big problem to the living beings. Mm -hmm. Even uh, so, sir, I think, sir, I also feel that uh, the. The extent to which the business should have discharged their responsibility, I mean, the cost, the damage that they have made, mm -hmm. they have not uh, discharged up to the mark. Actually, you see, uh, previously I mentioned about voluntary discharge of responsibility and also statutory discharge of responsibilities. In India, we have some legislative provisions, and all legislative provisions for protection of environment or say for providing service, proper service to the employees or providing quality goods and service to the customers, there are certain provisions of law. They, our, our business houses, sometimes what they do, they just say that we are discharged as some civilities because we have followed the rules and regulations enacted by the government. Yes. So, but that is not enough. Simply abide by the provisions of law, no. it, is, it does not mean so discharge of responsibility. It's a pollution problem you have mentioned about. Pollution problem is not only created by refineries, sugar industry, uh, paper, paper industry. Yes. The, these industries are also, you have mentioned about the narcotics, yes. like drugs or uh, say good cars and all these, mm. particularly in Northeast region. And they have definitely polluted the society, society in general. And they are, they, they are, I think, in, many, in, in one sense, they are just taking only one objective, that is earning profit, and they are totally ignoring the social interest, social interest. general interest, interest of the coming generation. So definitely in that case, two things are important. One is the legislative provision should be made very strict to restrict this, this type of business. And secondly, the business houses, the management of the business houses, should also understand the depth of the problem and accordingly they should voluntarily take some measures. Why only law? You have, you have a moral obligations. So that moral obligations, the values of business, ethics of business, that is that should not be violated. So while discharging responsibilities by our business houses, they should not forget about the social values, social ethics, social norms moral values, these things are also equally important. Sir, uh, you talk about legal provisions. Sir, in India, is there a strict or is there any specific law which binds the company for discharging social responsibility? Yeah, yeah, they definitely there are laws, say for example, for the protection of interest of uh, uh, shareholders. 
share holders are also come uh, share holders also come under social responsibility because social social responsibility means yet one thing i did not clarify social responsibility means to responsibility discharge to the society. society but society means what society means shareholders society means employees mm. society means customers mm. village community protection of environment rules and regulations of government to be followed mm. all these form the society mm. so, so while discharging responsibilities to the say shareholders our companies in india are bound to follow the provisions of company Act. payment of bonus act mm. payment of wages act mm. payment of minimum wages act or factories act these acts of, uh, have also made some provisions okay. and these are the statutory measures our companies follow the provisions say for a health and safety of workers mm. in factories in industries we have provisions under factories act, factories act. and our companies say that we have abide by these things. Mm -hmm. well, similarly, for protection of consumers, we have Essential Commodities Act, mm -hmm. 1955, Consumer Protection Act, 1986, mm -hmm. MRTB Act was originally there in 1969. So the provision of these acts also make or compel our business institutions to strictly follow certain rules and regulations and these come under social responsibilities. The government also have some say government responsibility. What are the responsibilities of business to government? It includes say income tax act mm. or foreign exchange management mm. act, SEBI Securities and Exchange Board of mm. India Act, SEBI Act 1992. Provisions of these acts have compelled our businesses. Provision of these act have made them uh, bound or to to discharge certain responsibilities to various interested groups. So we have law. We could not say that in, in India we have no statutory provisions for discharge of responsibilities. Yes, we have many laws. But as regards the implementation and concern, that will be another topic of discussion. Mm -hmm. So how far the provisions of various laws are followed by our business houses at the time of discharging responsibilities. Say in Guwahati refinery, safety measures, health measures, mm -hmm. they have followed the provision of factory Act. But at the same time, Oil India Limited or IOC, Indian Oil Corporation, has made some provisions for welfare of the employees voluntarily. Mm -hmm. Buses for, Buses the, for the children, so caring of children, children of employees mm -hmm. or for the employees, free canteen facilities, yes. these things are voluntary. They, they, they have voluntarily done. It depends upon attitude of the management financial condition of the institution or say well organized um, trade unions its pressure on um, management, management many aspects are there sir uh, now uh, can we sir demarcate uh, the position of the government companies ps public sector undertaking and private undertaking sir can we analyze uh, i mean sir uh, is there any difference i mean uh, of whether the public sector company is discharging their uh, social responsibility properly or uh, they are lacking behind the private sector has an as a basic objective that they want to create an image or reputation in the society for marketing their products for entering in the hearts of the consumers and keeping this target in mind they want to enter into society through various other schemes, welfare schemes, so that a brand name, a reputation, a proper goodwill is created in the market. And that is why we have observed that our public sector undertakings are mostly suffering from fund shortage, fund crunch. And that's why they have not been able to undertake any big projects for social social benefits. Yes, yes, yes. So, tell me how many projects have been undertaken for construction of stadiums, construction of hospitals, construction of say uh, big dams or electric power projects by our public sector undertakings. No, no. they have not. And one, one important point is that public sector undertakings are subject to budget provision of the government. They have fund problem, financial problem. So 
they are just sometimes in the form of advertising they are supporting some sports activities or musical activities or cultural activities literary activities that is very small very small. mega uh, very small negligible amount so, sir, compared to sir uh, public sector undertakings private big big I private mean, definitely definitely uh, how business houses because, are because they are doing wide business over. very vast mm -hmm. business huge amount is invested billions of crores of rupees in invested and definitely they are another objective is that why private sector is have shown more interest in discharging responsibilities number one cause is that they want to market their products right. in, in the in the society so definitely they will try to satisfy the society create a good image and uh, reputation in the society and that is one objectives they are not very much concerned that society will will gain and society will be benefited standard of living of the society will be high so we have undertaken these projects that is their secondary objective they reach to the society they reach to the society, society. how to reach to the society they how to the be closer to the society. customers society customers. yes sir. now sir uh, if we uh, uh, talk about the scenario of assam mm. in assam sir we have very small number of uh, companies or industries or corporate houses mm. sir uh, in assam sir uh, can you sir uh, give a little bit idea about uh, industries or companies in assam how they are discharging their social responsibility okay good good you have rightly <coughs> pointed out that the number of uh, say industries or regional offices or branch offices of our big business houses in assam or in northeast is quite negligible we don't have seen big projects or many, many uh, manufacturing plant uh, established by our big business houses in northeast or in assam so that's why the employment generation is also less only big business houses corporate houses have shown interest in um, selling their products marketing their products in the northeast okay. or in assam but yet we have tea industry tata magor they have good projects many tea states they have own oil india limited the in public sector or ioc indian oil corporation ongc <coughs> and we we have few such uh, industries in northeast or in particularly in assam and they are trying to fulfill certain needs of the society i am telling you for example magor educational trust yes the magor group of industry magor magor educational trust every year declare a award for promotion of assamese literature the yes. best literature that is assam valley award yes that is that is for promotion of the no. literature of the society so that is a social obligation mm -hmm. they have undertaken it voluntarily no statutory provision say so, tata group of industry in particularly in assam they have sometimes undertaken certain projects like for example construction of schools or colleges for example dumduma college yes Dumduma College was originally uh, constructed by tea companies. Yes. The entire house houses construction was they were done. So th this is this is a good example. And many calvards, bridges, or uh, schools, small hospitals they have established. But unfortunately, the big business houses they have no industries they have no manufacturing plants right. production centers in northeast and they have not undertaken any big projects like say why there is not a good or big stadium to be constructed by a big business house in assam mm -hmm. is there any management and technological institution in assam yes started no, by uh, constructed yeah. by big any business, business houses uh, but no we have seen that in other we have not even in a yeah. hospital hospital yeah. like a escort group of hospital yes. or tata group of hospital, hospital. no we don't have we don't have so, so they have to some extent neglected they have not this part of the country. this part of the society is not properly covered up by their schemes of social responsibility do you know that our corporate houses annually in their total budget expenditure keep a separate item separate heads of expenditure social welfare fund mm. and that social welfare fund i think in that fund they have not they have not provided any they have not provided any fund specially for assam 
Mm -hmm. So they are just giving some donations or contributions mm -hmm. for celebration of certain mm -hmm. festivals. Mm -hmm. That's enough. So that is that that point should be actually um, taken in mind, and they should be approached properly through our some social organizations or non-government organizations or even by government organizations. They can make a request to do big business houses that you can have a good hospital in Assam, you can have a good stadium in Assam, or a technical, technological and management institution in the private sector. Why not? Why not? Yes. But thing is that they will not come because the generation of income, generation of profits is supposed to be low from this North yes. East, as compared to Other Bangalore person. or Mumbai. Mumbai. So sir, thank you sir. Today we very uh, nicely discuss about the social responsibility of business including the national scenario and uh, also the scenario of Assam. So thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.